hello people watching thing. I feel odd to say I hope I Oh well. Anyway that I will be recording small clips throughout my day. But yeah. Let's just see how this turns out. I'm sorry if I'm an overexposed or anything like that. But yeah. Now off to a where, where are we going? We're going to the region first store. Or I'm going or we are going off to the region thrift store and now let's just see what happens there. Thrift store's close. That way, I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know. I can't see it. Anyway, it's closed. Tried walking in there, but it's closed. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Off to somewhere else, which I do not know where. <laughs> yeah. Off to the next thrift store. I don't know if you guys can see it from here since the wide angle lens and the scope from But it's like, uh, we're over there. Salvation Army. Yeah. Don't know what kind of shop that is. I'm getting from here. Yeah. yeah. If I have the camera from like right here, you would be getting a shot going up my nose, basically. Yeah. Oh. Going there now. Not up my nose, but up towards the Salvation Army. Yeah. Not that bad. We should, we should, show, or we should show Glenn this. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Okay. You remember these things? I certainly do. Yeah, this one's actually wood grain. I... Price is 79 I had a few of those. The thing under it looks like a radio. Yeah. Isn't that a radio under it? What's that? Isn't that a radio under it? Uh, yes. So actually, yeah, that would be radio. part of a component. Like, we... <laughs> and there's an apple stick on that over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You be able to play... oh, you know what? You know what that's for? Oh, that... oh. I think it's a cassette, but I thought from all there was for an 8 track. And yeah. you don't want that. Yeah. I had an 8 track. Yeah. And not, they weren't the best. Yeah. Like I was saying, there's an Apple sticker right there. It's been branded by Apple. Oh, yeah. Instead of 79 or whatever, Apple changes the price to like a thousand. Yeah. Classic Apple products. See these for miles. Oh god, I don't want to wear those. <laughs> you can see these for miles. You can put them... You know, I have a friend who has a pair of shoes like these. Yeah. Except um, they're more shinier. So you can actually shine a flashlight in its direction and you can see it from miles away. Yeah, just left the thrift store and stuff like that. Actually, where are we going now? Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, okay. Um, I just left the thrift store. I don't know where I'm going now. I'm going to go somewhere. Oh, well, if you want to. Yeah, it might not be bad. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Sure, why not? Why not into Tim Hortons? Yeah. And yeah. And be careful of the mud here. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 Speaking to future self. Oh yeah. There you go. Um, I just would, would be interested. Like, I just meant to do a scene and just drinking coffee. Yeah. Uh, the way we did the movie, that was that was April of 1973. And I was in, I was in grade six. My friend was in grade seven, and uh, and we, it, it was. 
was one of the, like I we both watched the movie that we were laughing at and we thought it was a really good movie and we were making jokes about it. And uh, we just turned it into like our own little movie. And uh, my goodness. Like, uh, and it was a good, it's a good keepsake because um, when you think about it, it's all our neighborhood, my, all, all my old friends. Yeah. Actually, do you still have it? Oh, yeah. Well, I maybe you should see about converting I, it. I, I showed it to you. Yes. <laughs> or at the library, yeah. 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 Actually, you know what? All thing that we need? Yeah. Maybe if you actually post it or something. Did you uh, make actually, it digital? I would, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'll crop that part out yeah. and I will re digitalize it and actually make some music and make some. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to remember the lines. It was too long ago, but um, just go through the whole movie and then then publish it. Because what might happen, someone might see it that one of my old friends, yeah. from my my good friend won't like he's gone, but sadly, uh, yeah. yeah. But some of the others, like our next door neighbors, we're still good friends with them, yeah. and and one of them I know is in Toronto. Kenny, he's, I think he was in Hamilton the last time I talked to him, okay. so um, he might see it and go, wow, because <laughs> he's in it, because Kenny played Adolf Hitler. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that would be kind of interesting, and also, like, I mean, just looking at it, it's just like some of the scenes in there are actually quite brilliant, actually. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, like that was just. A, and my friend and I were planning on doing another movie, but we never got to it, and it was too bad. Yeah. Uh, we we're gonna do. We we're gonna get a, diff, a newer camera, a Super 8 mil movie camera, which were good cameras. They were really. Sharp to the use. Day they were. Oh yeah, because I got the my grade six teacher get let me uh, use one on one of our nature trips. Yeah. And uh, and uh, they were really good cameras to use. And so we were going to do something with aliens coming to Earth, and everyone thinking aliens are smart, smarter than humans. But these aliens were going to be the stupidest. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, uh, like the Three Stooges type of deal. Yeah. Um, so, but that never came about. We had something written up, and we just never got around to it. Which is really too bad because it would have been nice to do another one. Yeah. I, I think my friend and I were almost like uh, George Lucas and and. Um, and Spielberg yeah. doing uh, the uh, Indiana Jones movies. Um, and you know, nowadays, like, like if I was growing up with the digital thing, that would have been so much easier. Yeah. But I mean, like, you don't like we had a tape recorder to tape the audio. Like separate to actual, like we had to sort of redo the scene by just reading the script. <laughs> it was like doing a radio show, yeah. and then then we tried to line it all up with the with the movie. It was it was difficult because and I had and I had to show it in class, and uh, and I got it all set up and it, and it worked beautifully. The teacher really loved it, and he thought it was a great job. And the kids in the class, the rest of my friends, they laughed. <laughs> they, they thought it was really funny, and they, they had a good time with it. So, um, And actually, the teacher told me that it was probably the best project, because <laughs> it took a bit of doing to do, right? So, But it was a fun project. That was probably the most enjoyable project I ever did. Yeah. Um, 
until I did a, a creative writing class thing, but, um, but anyhow. But again, I wouldn't mind doing another, do a, an actual movie. Uh, something, something comical. I think sometimes we need to be have a little bit of um, comedy as opposed to like a ser like like it's all serious now, right? Yeah. And sometimes you need to have a good laugh. Um, yeah. And I would like to do something like maybe downtown Brampton. Yeah. And do sorry like really off the cuff. Um, but I don't know exactly what it is. It's just uh, one of those things that just has to come into my head. Okay. Um, How's the coffee? Good. The coffee is extremely good. Coffee cup. Let's see how this is working. Yeah. Go at the end? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, go over there then. Yeah, it's your arts and yeah. our gallery thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it says gallery. Yeah. Okay. We can just go inside, I guess. Yeah. Inside here, I'm going to put away the little small camera and I'm going to actually do my job now. And yeah. I'll well, see so you guys, or you guys can hear me after. Hey, this is Abiola Ido. I'm an artist, a sculptor, and a painter. Um, this is a wonderful spot for every art artist to explore and to showcase their talent. You know, I hail from um, Nigeria. I was born there originally. A practicing artist for so many years, close to 27 years now, practicing both sculpture and, and painting. You know, before I relocated to. Um, United States of America in 2015. And here I am today, two years, I decided to move to Canada. To Canada. Now I'm a Canadian now. <laughs> anyway, look at that. Um, the essence of this show, Between Lines, is to, um, um, to see beyond you know, what the two eyes can see. To go in depth to apply our thought heart in, ev in every situation we find ourselves, especially things we see on daily basis. And then when I discovered that you know um, our life will not remain the same again if we apply thought eyes in everything we see on daily basis. You know, uh, out of my tight schedule, I created um, this uh, beautiful art pieces here. In order to do what? To bring the community together, you know, in harmony, in love, and then to showcase that, you know, um, we are family. It's so tough and challenging being an artist, and at the same time, I work in a factory. I do 12 hours, 8 to 12 hours on a daily basis, and then when I come back home, I paint like a madman. <laughs> I'm so sorry to use the word. I paint like a walker. Really, that's the right word to use. <laughs> you know, I utilize my time very well, and I'm very conscious, very sensitive, because time is life. I make sure I spend at least with my career, with my focus, I mean, with, my, with what I really enjoy doing. You know, no matter how tight is the, um, as a schedule, I like to create maybe three hours or four hours on daily basis to create something while working in the factory to pay my bills. There's no free lunch anywhere. We have to take the food by the home and move to the next level. I so much believe in see through and break through. If you don't see through, you can't break through. You know, it is what you see that you will surely get. And when you get it, you will achieve it with your power. You know, so just move around, enjoy yourself with beautiful colors in between lines. You know, thank you. How long have you been painting for Viola? 
Um, I've been painting for uh, more than tw uh, 27 years now. More than 27 years, precisely. Now, professionally. Yeah. I started right from primary three. That was way back, you know. When I was much younger, much, much younger. You know. More than 27 years now, yeah, professionally. I have a question. Okay. What's the what, what inspires you to paint? What inspires so many things? Beautiful women, God Almighty, the nature. Yeah. And it's, of course, all those things attached to nature. I like beautiful things. Like all those stuff you are saying here, inspired by rocks, diamond, you know. And then where I'm working, that's, I work in a recycling company. The, the particles of what they bring look like diamond when you put them together. You know, it's just like the pieces of paper. When you put them together, when they overlap each other, just suppose each other, they look like that kind of thing. So you can see, you can easily fit out, you know, the colors from one another. So that's the environment in this family. Even the way we talk, our food, our club. I'm just curious, though, why do you paint anyway? Like why? why do you, yeah. Why do I paint? Yeah. yeah, you know, since art is a self-expression or communication of ideas, I'm a kind of reserved person. Though if you are close to me, I'll open up. Yeah. So I use my heart to arrest people, you know, I might not be eloquent, but I use art to go, to push in, I mean, to push out what I have within me, you know. So that, that's it. I use art to, to speak out, yeah. since it's an expression. More questions? I don't know any. That was just the one that came to top my head. <laughs> any influences? Influences? Yeah, I got my influence from uh, African carving. Picasso, I love him so much. Yeah. Picasso, Michelangelo. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely see Picasso. Yeah. Of, of course, Picasso got the inspiration from Africa. Yeah. From wood carving, the natural wood carving from the local people. Yeah. You know. So he influenced me a lot because of he, he, he's a workaholic. He was a workaholic rather. So I I, I looked towards for it. And Michelangelo, though they worked tirelessly yeah. when they were alive. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And yeah. How long have you uh, been in Brampton? Yeah, I've been in Brampton less than two years now, and I've done four solo show okay. and I've created more than 250 paintings. Wow. If you go to the basement you see a lot of paintings there. <laughs> I told you that. It's just like I'm using art to refresh. Okay. Art is doing art is, is an is, is a pure hobby to me. But I take it as a serious business. You know when I'm tired from my daily job, I have told you I work in factory, but I still do work, come back, refresh myself with painting, yeah. of which people call work. So, at least less than two years now, I came, no, it's, no, yeah, less than two years, uh, April 4, it will be, there's somebody there, I think. <coughs> April 11, it will be two years of work. So every 11 to the two years on the dot. Uh, future, what's in the future? Uh, besides the art gallery, anything else that you have in the works? Um, the future, the plan for the future is to just, to use art to heal the world. I see the world as a canvas that you can paint, yeah. and you can paint it with love. That's one of my ideology. You can catch the generation, I mean the young generation, like teenagers, yeah. you can catch them young with this kind of uh, 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 approach. Yeah. Show them, teach them, 
then you release them. Yeah. So I see art as a kind of tool to heal the world, okay. of which we are working to. And that was even part of what brought about sharing, yeah. you know, to bring the community together, to show love, and then, you know, work in harmony. Yeah. Yeah. That's the future. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys and girls and people watching and things and whoever you are and yeah. I am gonna end the video here. Yeah. I'll see you guys all next time on the next um, video thing. The bottom, wherever it's called. Yeah. I will see you guys next time.